Hi, I'm Fred McNeil. Thanks for watching us tonight. We're in downtown Centerville. Beautiful historic Centerville with a courthouse which uh, has been around since George Washington. Well, those of you who drive through Centerville know that every Tuesday night from 5 o'clock to about 5.30, we have two individuals who stand right in front of the courthouse on Route 213 with signs uh, proclaiming that we should give our attention to peace and peaceful efforts. So we thought it'd be great. Let's find out who they are, why they're doing it, and what they're all about. So John, let me let you make introductions. My name's John. Okay. And I'm Nancy. I've got John and Nancy. Uh, Nancy, uh, my apologies, you told me John's a spokesperson, so with your yeah. permission, I'll start yeah. with him. Good. John, tell me, what are you out here, what are you doing? Uh, we are trying to get people to think about peace. Okay. It'd be nice if they would do something about it, but I will be happy if they just think about it. Now, are you doing this as a couple, as a uh, church, or what's, uh, this is just an effort you're making? Right. Uh, we're doing this as a couple, although we started in Easton, where there is a, an organized group that does it on Thursdays at 5 o'clock, and then we said, but nobody's doing it in Centerville. Okay. So we came to Centerville on Tuesdays at 5 o'clock. And you've been doing it for how long now? Three years. Three years. Now, now tell me, give me, both have got interesting backgrounds. Nancy, let me start with you. Uh, you've got a hubby who's a mathematician. I'll get back to him. Right. But how about yourself, your background? Oh, well, I was most recently a lawyer. Okay. I've also been a stay-at-home mom, but worked at other kinds of jobs. Are I was you a marathon runner? I'm going to interrupt. I've, I've walked half okay. marathons. That's good. Uh, I was a chemist in my first Life. incarnation okay. so lots of different things now what brought you I mean okay you started this what was I mean a philosophical decision you know what the world's nuts we want people to think about what brought you in to be here on a Tuesday night just to put a little good karma out into the okay. universe to get people to think about peace and to pass a little bit on and hopefully make everybody's a little happier on their drive home okay and John have a little bit about your background uh, I was um, uh, taught in the math department at the Naval Academy for 30 years. Uh, I retired eight years ago. Since then, I've been a chaplain at the psych ward down in Cambridge. That's been for eight years. I uh, love doing that work, too. So, uh, originally from Houston. Okay. Moved here, moved to Centerville in 2002. And you've been... Now, John, let me, we're, now, philosophical decision based on your practicing Quaker, I believe. Yes. get that right? Yes. I mean, the idea of making a commitment, and you're usually out here, what, a half an hour, an hour every yeah. Tuesday? Yeah. So okay. what was the... What pushed you? I mean, I know TV's bad. I mean, <laughs> I mean, bad programming. No. What was the impetus to get you here to come out and do it? One Sunday at the uh, Quaker meeting, uh, somebody got up and said, we have this peace vigil we do on Thursdays, and we appreciate if you could come down. Okay. And so I did and we really really enjoyed it and everything. Uh, I will say it took a little bit of guts to come down here sure and stand sure just, just two of us standing here the first week and, and do it and stuff. And but doing it for two years nonstop. Three years. Three years. Three years. Apologies. So, uh, well, what, after you probably know. The great thing about being retired, you don't care what people no, think no. anymore. We're beyond that. We're beyond that. <laughs> We're beyond that. We do what we want to do. Uh, <clears throat> and we just really enjoy it. I mean, uh, it's it's hard to come out here and stand and wave for 30, 45 minutes and not be happier when you're done. Well, I notice, uh, Nancy, people, you got most people waving at you, yeah. mm -hmm. smiling at you. Doesn't matter whether it's male, female, or what, but they see your signs and see your grins. So something's rubbing off. Yep, I hope so. Okay, good. Now, let me ask you, if someone, I mean, if people ever stopped and just said, hey, we'd like to talk to you? I mean, besides us nuts or <laughs> TV crew? Uh, a few, not many. Okay, <clears throat> and just general questions, who you are, right, what yeah. you're... What you're uh, Everybody also wants us to be part of a group, That's and right. when we just say it's just the two of us doing it, okay. they're not ready for that answer. Okay. But. And you, you live in Centerville, and mm -hmm. uh, uh, we always have sightings of you two guys uh, walking around Centerville, so they're obviously yeah. quite yeah. active. Do some walking. Websites or anything, or Facebook pages, or someone wanted to con watching this one to contact you, just drive, uh, drive up. Drive up, yeah, and Tuesdays so at 5. Tuesdays at Weather 5. Weather permitting. And a half an hour or so. Something okay. like that. Yeah. Okay. Now, let me ask you, last question, I'll put you, but we, we, we have to ask one fun question. Sure. In the political climate we, we're in now, not talking politics, we're talking about, uh, we're basically a nation that's been at war for 15 years, exactly. if not since World War II. That's right. Talk. Yep. I mean, is it going to take individuals like yourself to just keep doing this type? I mean, what's your opinion? Where's your philosophy in terms of what are we going to do? If you're going to have peace between nations, you have to have peace within nations. If you have peace within the nation, you have to have peace within yourself. Okay. And once you have peace within yourself, then it's going it to spread. It's going to spread That's like right. wildfire. That's right. And All if right. you don't, it ain't. Okay. That's the other side of it. Which you know? is good. Okay. Yeah. 
Well, look at both of you. I think it's great what you're doing. And I'm just delighted getting horns being beeped at you, people <laughs> waving, and you get the great smell of Coliseum pizza coming at you at the same right. time. <laughs> All, really the tough. Time. All right. Well, thank you for letting us join sure. you. Good luck in your pursuit. And Nancy, thank I can't you. think of anything finer to do. Thank okay. You. Fred McNeil, thank you. We're downtown Centerville. I guess it's appropriate that I say peace.